Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys. Whatever time y'all are tuning in, I certainly appreciate y'all are here. Today's video, guys, we're going to be opening up two different packages. One from Ohio, the other one from Illinois. So I can't wait to open these up and see what they sent. Uh, again, guys, I just want to thank all y'all for tuning in. I just want to appreciate all y'all, appreciate all my subscribers. Thank y'all so much for all the views, for all the support. Thank y'all so much. Again, guys, it's not what I do, it's what y'all do. Y'all the ones that make my channel, and I just want to thank y'all so much. Anyway, guys, I just want to remind y'all about the Whatnot Auction. What's up, guys? I just want to remind y'all about the Whatnot Charity Auction I'm doing for Tunnels to Towers. This coming Monday, May the 20th, it's going to be at 7 p.m. Eastern Time. Some of y'all are probably wondering what Whatnot is. I was the same way, but I've already done three charity auctions, and I absolutely love this site. Think of eBay, but you can actually do this live. You can be bidding while it's live. Whatnot is an app where you can shop for knives through live stream video. It also is where a place where you can join and interact with a community that's passionate about the same things you are. You don't necessarily have to shop for knives. You can search for anything that you're passionate about and join the community. Whatnot has graciously sent me a link. It'll be down in the video description below. If you don't have an account already, just click on that link and you will get $15 towards my live stream that's coming up on Monday. Ain't that cool? Just click on that link and you'll get a $15 credit toward any purchase on my live stream. I just wanna thank Whatnot again for this. Well, anyway, guys, I just wanted to do a little reminder of the upcoming charity auction for Tunnels to Towers. This coming Monday, May the 20th, 7 p.m. Eastern time. It's a charity auction I'm doing on Whatnot. Hope to see you there. Hey guys, thank y'all for tuning in today, and I hope you enjoy the video. Hey guys, here are the ones that I'm gonna be opening up. This one is from Illinois. We're gonna be opening up it second. The first one we're gonna be opening up comes all the way from Ohio, and we're gonna be using a Spyderco Military 2. Look at how sharp that thing is, man. Oh boy, look at him. Oh, look at that. Kevin, hope you can get some use out of these gifts. The fishing knife was my dad's. It needs some work. I'm sure you will find use for it. The Victoria knots I used when I worked at a tree nursery, I forgot. I gave it to my dad and recently found it. Have a blessed day. My brother in Christ, Jack Lager. Jack Lager. Well, Jack, thank you so much, buddy. Appreciate these gifts, man. I, I just can't get over how y'all think of me so much to give me your dad's knives and grandpa's knives. Thank y'all so much, man, for that. Guys, I absolutely love this knife here. It's a big boy now. It's a big boy. Spider Cove Military 2. And it is a made in Golden, Colorado. That CPM S30V steel. Spider Cove. American made. Hoorah. Man, I love that sheath right there. That is a nice sheath, man. Very nice. I don't even look like it didn't use that much. See there? When you find a sheet and the, the flap is still against the, the the back of it, it ain't been carried at all. Nice. I love these trapper uh, knife sheets right here. Very nice. You can tell that one ain't been used much at all either. Look at that. But I love these so much. Love it. This is dad's knife here. Wooden handle. It's called a, it's a hook remover, but this is called a disc gorger. <laughs> That's cool. It's got a lock blade. Wonder what wonder what it is, y'all. The only other lock blade fishing knife that I've ever seen has been a Camillus. So let's see what this one is. 
And there's some Camillus. Look at that. Dude, this is a nice, nice knife, man. I will clean it up. Sure will. Bottle opener. Fish descaler right here. And that blade is sharp as a razor. And it's a lot blade. I'll clean this knife up soon. I really will. I love this. This one here. Let's see when it was made. That long line under Camillus, they used that stamp right there in the 1960s and mid-70s. Very cool. Love this. I think this is like a, uh, yeah, a pruning knife for the garden. Toy knot. Very nice, buddy. I love this right here. Very nice knife. Thank you, man. Jeff, thank you for all these gifts, buddy. Oh, I forgot. See what he sent right here. Mossberg. Look at that. Oh, I love that right there. The Second Amendment is my gun permit. Hoorah. I love that right there. Sure do. Love this. Jack, thank you so much, man. Love that. Love it. Appreciate these stickers, man. These have been going up on my wall of fame. Sure will. Thank you so much. Jack sent those knives and gifts all the way from Spencerville, Ohio. 699 miles away from Ellerville, Georgia. Jack, appreciate all those knives and gifts, buddy. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. God bless you, man. Okay, now, guys, we're going to be opening up the box all the way from Quincy, Illinois. Dear Knife Doctor, love your videos on going hunting for those little gems. I used to be the same, but no longer go like I did. So I love you letting me tag along with you on your search in your videos. Enclosed are a few knives from my collection. I hope you like the case and the others I picked out for you to give a little TLC. My gift to you for your military service my father served in Korea as a sergeant in the Army for about two years. He brought home some great pictures and some monies he gave he got in Korea. I wanted to share a couple with you. I hope you like them. Keep making those great videos. Your friend in uh, Stephen. Well, Stephen, buddy, thank you so much, buddy. I really appreciate you thinking enough of me, man, to give me some of your dad's stuff, dude. We'll open these last. Let's see what that. Oh my gosh. Look at that, y'all. We'll open this last. We'll open these two last. Man. Look at this little jewel right here now. Right there. Hammer brand, ain't it? I think it is. That thing is sharp as a razor, y'all. That's something good carbon steel. Got a little can opener. This was a bottle opener. You probably you still use it as a bottle opener. Yeah. Hammer brand, y'all. Yeah. Very cool. Love that. Let me get all this paper out of the Oh. Look at that, y'all. Oh my god. Mm mm mm. Oh boy. Wow. Ooh, shaking y'all. Oh. Oh my god. Steven. This is awesome, dude. This looks like a boker. It is a boker. Look at that, man. Look at that right there. Boker. Solid in Germany. We got to put a nine millimeter round in there. Man, stag handle, y'all. We just need some TLC. Look at that stag. Ain't that awesome? Boy, I I'm going to be doing this here real soon. This is a beautiful knife. Beautiful knife. I'm actually going to be doing two bokers at one time, y'all. I'm going to shoot two rounds off, 
get the uh, cartridges and uh, put them in the, the, the shield. Put them in the handles right here. This is awesome. Awesome. Steven, I love this knife, man. Let's see what this one is. Oh my god, a pal. Dude. A pal cutlery company, y'all. Wow. Man. Steven, you are the man, dude. Look at this. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Wow, man. Beautiful. Hmm, let's get to this one. I think this one is a uh, Ulster. Yes. Ulster. This is a stainless steel one. Yep. I actually repaired one of these one time. It had a uh, messed up blade. Yep. And this spring is the spring is gone in, in this one. Thank you, Steven. Very cool, buddy. And this one's an old one, guys. Made in the USA, probably. Yep, made in the USA. This was made by Camillus. It's missing a, uh, looks like it's missing the um, can opener here. Got the punch blade. And it's got the um, flat tip screwdriver. Yeah, see the can opener was broken down in there, but this is a beautiful, beautiful bone here. Beautiful bone. That looks like it's been repaired with, uh, wow, man. Ain't that awesome? It looks like it's been repaired with, uh, JB Weld or something like that. They had a broke bone. These are notorious about the bones breaking. Man, I love these knives, dude. Uh, he said his dad got these from Korea, y'all. Whoa. Dude. Check that out, y'all. Steven, this is amazing, man. Amazing. Nineteen fifties, y'all. The Bank of Korea. Ten one. Look at that. That is amazing, Stephen. So awesome, dude. Ten cents for use in the United States military establishment by United States authorities personnel in accordance with applicable rules and regulations. Ain't that amazing, y'all? It says military payment certificate. This is awesome, dude. Never seen one of these. Never seen these two at all. Steven, dude, this is awesome, man. I can't wait to show my son that he's a banker in Florida. He'll, he'll, he'll appreciate this. He likes old stuff, too. That's awesome, Stephen. Thank you so much, buddy. I love this. Love it. I'm going to actually put it right back in there. Retape it. Ooh, I'm nervous, y'all. Oh, man. This is a trapper lock. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Why don't you sign that right there? You know anything at all about mixed martial arts and the UFC registered sign, then you know the name Matt Hughes. With devastating slams and ground and pound and nine championship belts to his credit, Matt is the most dominant fighter in UFC registered sign history. Hughes is an avid outdoorsman with a passion for quality and American made products. A partnership between Hughes and W.R. Case and Sons Cutlery Company creates a championship caliber team. As the Case Ultimate Sportsman, Matt Hughes exemplifies the qualities that stand the test of time. A Christian, a family man, Matt Hughes could only have been made in America. Wow. Ultimate Sportsman. 
What year is it? Three, four, five, six, seven. That is a 2013. Wow. Dude, this is beautiful, man. I love that bone right there. Check out that bone, y'all. Uh, Sixty-one fifty-four LC. Stainless steel. Yeah, this is a very nice knife, y'all. Very nice knife. Beautiful. Liner lock. You got your pocket clip. Excellent knife. Stephen, buddy, thank you so much for this, man. Beautiful knife. This thing is razor sharp, too, guys. Beautiful, beautiful knife. Steven, I really don't know what to say, man. Love this. Appreciate this, buddy. I cannot wait to do this knife here. Along with this knife. This video will be out next week sometime. I love it. Even sent those knives and gifts all the way from Quincy, Illinois. 791 miles away from Ellaville, Georgia. Steven, I appreciate you sending those knives and gifts, buddy. I appreciate you supporting the channel. God bless you, man. Okay, guys, I just want to give you all a little update on some lighters that I received. I received this one from Mr. Jeff from Goose Creek, South Carolina. This is a uh, May of 2003. It has a USS Carl Vinson on there. Uh, I had to, there was a flint stuck in the bore up under the, the striker wheel. I pulled up the flint, I pulled up the wick, I mean, and clipped it. I got the dirty stuff off and uh, I had to put some of this fuel down there to, uh, to let it sit and it finally broke that corrosion loose and I just pushed that uh, flint on out of, out of the bore. But it works good now. The light's up on the first lick. But I just wanna thank you, Jeff, for sending me this in, buddy. I'm getting quite a collection of these now. I might start to look for them. But uh, that's a good lighter. I love it. And this one here was given to me by Mr. Warren Lindsay from Dublin, Georgia. And this one here is June of 96. The lights up on the first lick too. Ain't that cool? Mr. Warren, I appreciate this lighter, buddy. But this used to be a Marlboro lighter. Some of y'all have told me in the comments um, that there used to be a Marlboro thing up here that was glued on. Apparently it wasn't glued very good. But uh, that's what it was. It was a Marlboro lighter from the 90s. Ain't that cool? Appreciate it, Mr. Lindsay. And Mr. Howard, you are correct, buddy. Zippo fluid is 10 times better than the ricinol oil or fuel. Lighter fuel, I'm sorry. I use this just to get one going to see if it'll work good because it evaporates quick. But this fuel here, guys, it lasts a long time. And it does smell better. I mean, they both smell good now, don't get me wrong, but... The reason I'm saying that, I just like the smell of them because it reminds me of my dad, but this one does smell good. It really does. And it's made in USA. I'm sure this one is too. Let's see. Made by Ronson. It don't really say where it's made. Anyway, I'm, I'm sure it's made in USA. But we know this one is. Well, thank y'all again, Mr. Jeff and Warren. Thank y'all for these lighters. Both of them will be going in my collection. So now, guys, let's see what we got in the eBay package here.
Right there, a sheath. I wonder what that sheath for. Whoa. How about that? Case Double X, made in the USA. You know what this sheath is for, guys? This knife is a case exchanger. It's supposed to come with four blades. When I got it in from Savannah, the uh, drop point blade was whittled down or sharpened, abused, guys. But it was it was really thin. But I ordered this off of eBay. This is a 1990. This is a clip point blade, but it comes with a clip point blade, drop point blade, fillet, and a saw. And uh, this is the sheath for it. I ordered it off of eBay, and it goes right here, and the other three blades goes right there so i'm looking for those now can't wait to find them so and the way you do it is i'm gonna, I'm gonna get, use a rag i cut myself three or four times in the last three weeks see that comes out right there and this thing is sharp. And then, see there, that just loops over this pin right here. You just stick it right down in there. Gotta mash this. And there it is. Ain't that cool? So, I'm gonna look out for me some more blades. I need to fillet the drop point and the saw. Got a little bit of cracking right there, but I'm going to put some wax on it. Take that sticker off. But ain't that cool? Once I get them all together, see this? This sheath has never been carried. That's why I wanted it. That's awesome. Well, guys, I hope y'all enjoyed the video today. I just want to thank uh, Jack and Steven for sending me these knives and gifts, uh, especially the Das knives. It's just amazing to me that uh, y'all would think of enough of me to send me your Das stuff. It's uh, amazing to me, guys. And I just want to thank y'all so much. And I just want to thank each and every subscriber out there, all the people that's viewed me, all the people that participate in my auctions. Just thank y'all so much. It's just amazing to me that uh, my channel has evolved into this uh, great thing that I love. I really do. And I just want to thank y'all so much for all the support. Again, guys, it's not what I do on a daily basis, but it's what y'all do. Y'all are the ones that make my channel, and I just want to thank y'all so much. So much. Anyway, guys, again, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. I just want to say God bless y'all. And until we meet again, guys, y'all be like a good night. Stay sharp. Uh -huh.